Hello, my darlings, and welcome to Let's Build. And welcome to the final part of Corner Cove. We're going to get into the interiors today and do a bit of interior work because I want to keep it in one part. Like I said to you last time, I'm going to do maybe a bit off camera and then I'll come and show you this part as well. And then do another room with you guys and then go off and you know where we're going with this. Probably going to make a lot of mistakes today because I am running on empty exhaust fumes today. After that amazing stream last night, I didn't finish streaming until midnight and I couldn't get to sleep. I went to bed about, around about half midnight-ish and I think I was just so on such a high from the adrenaline of doing this amazing stream with you guys that I just couldn't, I couldn't get to sleep until about half three in the morning. Ugh, and I needed to be up around eight as well. So I'm going to be making lots of mistakes today. So you're going to have to excuse my derpiness. Oh, we've got a new family member. We've got a new family member in the background. She is hidden behind me. <gasps> She's called Tuppence. She's called Tuppence and she is our new Christmas tree for the office. Um, I love her. She's very pretty. All with white glistening baubles. To get in that festive, festive season... It would have been better if she was like here, but my doll's like right there, there, and it just wouldn't, it wouldn't open. So she's kind of behind me. So it's like a hint of Christmas, but um, I love her, love her. And she's made me feel all festive today. She really has. So yeah, I think without further ado, let's get into game and let's start building. Okay, you absolute beauts. Here we are back at Pam and Sharon's. Things have changed. I read some of your comments last time and I completely agreed with you. Um, completely agreed with you. I wasn't feeling Pam and Sharon in this place. Um, so I've swapped around the pool area. You guys said the pool would be better there and you were so right. I should have thought of that. Very stupid of me. So I've put the pool here and we've changed the bar completely. We changed the bar and I've made this kind of bar moment going on. I think this just reflects Sharon a little bit more. It reflects Pam a little bit more as well. So I much prefer how that looks. This is te this is giving their personality now. And then the same with the decking as well. Changed all the furniture. I just wanted to feel their personalities more in here. And I think this kind of rustic-y vibe suits them a lot more. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this kind of style. I just think it looks better. Better, better, better. Much better. Size down this coffee table so I couldn't put anything on it. But I do enjoy it. And a little fire pit here for them too to look at this view on. But much better bar. I think that just suits it. It's really cute actually. I think it it kind of... I reckon Sharon built this herself. and just like, no, I'm having this. We've got a brand new house. I'm having a bar in this style. Now, into the interiors. So we've got this vibe going on in here. I want the 50s diner to be in the kitchen. I want this kitchen to have quite a bright, I like red with black and white. I really do. So I'm going to do maybe, maybe not all red counters or something. I don't know. I'm not too sure yet, but definitely like a red fridge, red uh, oven and stuff. Um, I've used these hardwood floors all throughout. I just think they're very neutral. They're nice and they'll go with a lot of stuff. This wallpaper as well, a bit of decorative wallpaper. A nice bit of green in the hallway. We've put all the doors and everything in now as well. The lights are not going to stay like this. I might change the lights as we decorate the house up. Um, but yeah, that's what we've got so far. And then up into the landing, we're out of Timothy. And also bathroom and an ensuite there. We're keeping that same vibe downstairs. But I've painted the walls white in here. That might change by the time I put in like furniture and stuff. But for the meantime, I think it just stays like this for the minute. So we're going to reflect on the characters a lot more than what we did the first time through. Just going to sit on my legs. And we'll do that by putting in um, furniture pieces that are kind of reflect on them nicely. I'm for it. I really am. So I think what we'll do together, we'll start on the living room area. And we'll definitely do the kitchen together as well. But I think like dining room, I do off of camera. Bathroom. And also all the bathrooms up here, plus the like spare bedroom. And then we'll do their bedroom together. So we'll do the dining, the living room, the kitchen and the main master suite together. But don't worry, I will show you what I've done in this part today. Um, Just wanted to get that out there. I think I might move this up just so we get a better space in the living area, like around here. I'm not going to put a chimney in this lot either. So I'm not going to do a fireplace. Um, 
I know deserts do get cold and stuff at night, but I think this house is quite, it's brand new. So I'm going to say it's got central heating. Do you have central heating in America? Do you? I, is that a thing? You'll have to let me know. Anyway, let me find a sofa and I'll see what we can work with here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for these corally looking ones. I love that. Love that colour. Um, with these like minty green curtains, which were from Eco uh, Living Lifestyle. <laughs> I still think they missed out calling it Eco Lifestyle. I really do. I will say it time and time again. The only problem is I can't put one on this side. I tried and it just looks weird. It just looks weird. So we're just going to have to forget about that side. Maybe I could get rid of that window there. Oh, my phone's vibrating. Do excuse me. Sorry about that, my loves. That was my best friend. My best friend. I'm going to tell you a story. My best friend heard this weird humming noise coming from the sky um, the other night when she was in a house. Like, really weird. She videoed it. And um, there was no wind. There was nothing. There was nothing around. There was no road working going on. And um, she's just messaged me now. And she's in the news. <laughs> so I found that absolutely hilarious. We don't know what it was. It was really, really weird. I've seen all these weird noises coming from the sky and stuff on YouTube. And it sounded like that. It sounded just like that. And she sent me the video out of her um, house from the top window showing me the noise. And it was freaky, my loves. Absolutely freaky. But um, she's just messaged me now saying that she's, <laughs> she's made it into the newspaper. <laughs> she's famous. She's famous, my loves. So, yeah, nice, fresh... Fresh and new. I love this furniture in here. I think it suits it because the wood goes nicely with the flooring. So we're obviously going to do a nice TV moment here. I would imagine these guys love a movie night. They're quite, mo I reckon they're movie buffs. It's their way to relax together maybe because um, they're always at work. They're always working so hard. So I reckon it'd be a nice place for them to relax together, you know, or a nice thing to relax together. Oh. I'm just thinking, cannot, no, Aiden, you cannot use that in here. It's massive. Um, I think I'm going to make a cabinet on the wall instead then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a TV on the wall, maybe around about there. I hate how far the TVs come out. I hate it. Why do they do that? Uh... <laughs> Very dramatic today. I am. But I, as I said, I'm running on empty exhaust fumes, my loves. So I'm going to be weird and we're all going to be for it, aren't we? Aren't we? I hope at least one of you answered that, yeah, then. Because I'd be very, um, I'd be moist, to be honest. Absolutely moist. Oh, that looks nice, actually. What about you in here? Do you come in anything that's not garish and sims? <laughs> Uh, mm, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like that in here. Oh, trying to match a kitchen. I don't necessarily have to do cupboards above it. I could do like just two of these below. And these could be maybe places where they store their DVDs and whatnot. Does anybody still get DVDs? I love a DVD, me. I do. Oh, God. Oh, God. We can't do that. I do. I love a DVD absolutely love a dvd i remember when dvd players first that's how old i am i remember being in school and dvd players first coming out and my mum i'm getting home from school and my mum has got the most devon accent you've ever heard in your life and <clears throat> i got home from school and she went guess what i was like what me and your father we got one of those new VDV players. <laughs> I was like, do you mean DVD players? One of those. <laughs> and I always, I still take the piss out of her for that now. One of those VDV players. <laughs> My mum sounds like Hagrid from Harry Potter. That's what she sounds like. <laughs> she really does. <laughs> um, I like this, but I want something around it. I do, oh, in fact, why don't we... I like this in here, so I'm going to use it somewhere, definitely. But why don't we use one of the um, cabinets? These, one of these in here. Oh, can we make this work? I don't know if we can. I mean, we could use white. 
We could... Oh, or that one. That's slightly warmer. But I'm going to use it. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's better. That's... It's quite high. That TV's quite high. That would piss me off in real life. But I'm going to do it, I think. Yeah, we're going to do it, my loves. It's happening. And I'm going to keep that there. I like that there. I do. I think that looks smashing there. We need a... Do we need a plant in that corner? Or a lamp? I think a lamp. I think a lamp would be very it would it would be very nice <laughs> it would be very nice yeah that is slightly too warm it is kind of throwing me how warm that wood is compared to the rest so i'm gonna do it in white i think we're safer with white yes we are we're much safer there right and then i'm gonna do oh the only problem do you know what would look better here a plant rather than a lamp we'll do a lamp on this side bookcase here stunning and maybe um Oh, I don't know what we could do over there. We'll think about that later. But a plant. Plant in this corner. And I think I'm going to use the old faithful. Oh, actually, because of the climate of where we're in, I think maybe one of these plants would look better in here. You know? Got to think about the climate, my loves. Got to think about where you are in the world. You really do. Oh, that looks absolutely... So, people, you come in here and just think I'm such a weirdo. I am. I am such a weirdo. And I think it's very boring to be boring. <laughs> it's boring to be normal. There, I've said it. Um, <clears throat> coffee table, rug. Do we want a coffee table? I think we need a coffee table. It's not about do you want one. I think it's we actually need one in here. Now, I haven't used this one in a hot minute and it is kind of fitting in here, my loves. Oh, I think we're going to. How big are you? Oh, Christ. Where? How big are your coffee tables in America? For goodness sake. Maybe this one. Nah, no, because that is giving me that, that 90s vibe. 90s, 50s vibe. Even though it's 70s. <laughs> this is quite a 70s table. And it's going to piss me off not being central to the TV unit. But it's central to the um, sofa. And that's all that matters. Yeah, I like that. And do you know what we're going to use in here? I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to size this up and put it under here. Oh. Oh, lovely. <gasps> do you know what we're going to put in this corner? A jukebox. Oh, is it too big? I was going to use this in here anyway, and I hate the colours that this comes in. I mean, that's probably going to be your best bet, isn't it, in here? Will it fit in that corner? I mean, not really. Can I size it down and it still work? Then it looks too small. I definitely need a jukebox in this house, though. I really do. So maybe I could put the jukebox on that side. Oh, my God. Why can't they have just gone with, like, a simpler design for this jukebox oh i can't with that color on the, the front oh god they're all horrible oh oh christ oh lord above lord take the wheel jesus take the wheel jesus snatch my wig jesus just jesus uh, i do want a jukebox in here maybe we could put it in the kitchen somewhere let me see that Oh, we might just be able to get it in the kitchen. So I'm going to do like a row of like counters there and not much else in here. Maybe we can. And then in this corner here, I can use this one. Because it's still giving me that. It's still giving the music vibe. <clears throat> I would imagine Pam is very much into 50s and 60s rockabilly music. Yeah, I like that swatch in here as well. That does look nice. We're going to do that. And then up here, let's do some memorabilia. They've got some memorabilia from um, Get Famous, haven't they? So I might have to do that, sweeties. Sweetie darlings. Darling, sweeties. See, I told you I'm in a very weird mood and it's because I'm delirious. <laughs> that guitar's too big. Is that guitar too small? Probably, but are we going to use it anyway? You bet your knickers we are. Yes, we are indeed. Oh, I do like that above there. It needs to come down just a tad more, though, I think. <clears throat> That's better. That's better. Yes, I like that. I do. We need a sauce either side here. 
Um, um, what would you look like in here? Oh, I quite like it. I won't lie. So I'm going to do two of them. Size them down though. They're a bit large. Um, bookcase now. A nice bookcase in here. I'm seeing their personalities in here. I know it's quite generic, the personality, but the pop of colour, you know, the 70s influence, bit of 50s influence there, some memorabilia. You've just got to think out the box sometimes, sweeties. And you can believe whatever shit you want to believe then. <laughs> um, can we use this in here? Such a lovely brown. I wish we... I would love to see more of that brown in The Sims. Um, but it doesn't go in this room. That one goes. <laughs> yeah, that does go. I think we're going to use this one. Again, getting that mid-century furniture in here as well. Stunning. Is this from... Now, this is from Get Famous. So let's see what's... Did we get a bookcase with the bowling pack? Question mark? No, we didn't. What did we get from that? Show all, and then we'll get rid of Get Famous. Oh, oh, that's why I was thinking. This one. I don't think we're going to get a swatch that matches. I mean, we could do the grey, but nah. I think we'll stick with that. We'll stick with this. It's nice. It's fine. And then I'm going to put some more books on it as well. Um, activities and skills. Oh, God. Let's just go into this way. Oh, for Christ. Crying out loud. Right, let's get rid of that. Piss off of your debug. I just want to get a... Are you telling me there's no snap point down there? <sighs> Je ne sais quoi bleh. Indeed. Je ne sais quoi bloody bleh. Indeed. Right, off we go. Are you going to float like an absolute twat? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, I should get my own. We'll, we'll make that not float. <laughs> we'll make that not float and I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I just think it looks better down on that bit. So I think what I'm going to do here instead, I'm going to pull that along more there. Oh, no, because we put sauces in. We've put sauces in. So maybe I'll just do a uh, little um, Ottoman in here instead. Maybe using the nifty knitting one. Because that's a nice size. I've got itchy shoulder. What does that mean? What does that mean? Superstitiously. What does that mean? I think it just means itchy shoulder, to be honest. Right. Let me find this. There we go. I did end up you, uh, moving this. I moved this slightly long. I might just move it slightly more back. And I've swapped the sauces around. I've put them on this side as well. Just because it needed to light up this corner as well. Um, I like how this looks. I think this is fine. Yeah, I like it. I do enjoy it. So what I'm quickly going to do, I'm just going to do the dark. Oh, in fact, let's find some lights. Just going to find some lights for in here. And then I'm going to do the dining room off of camera. And then we'll make a start on the um, kitchen. Dining room is done. Um... I went for this vibe, went for these chairs, just little pops of colour here and there, using these lights the same in here as well. I just thought that light looked really nice in this living area. Um, so I wanted to match it over here too. And look, it's Pam's diner. I didn't even know that was on that picture. So I thought that was perfect up there. Loved it. And then I did a couple of little Ottomans that we used in here as well, in here, and popped a bit of yellow, my loves. Just to bring a bit more of this yellow vibe in here. And I like it. I like how that looks. I'm for it. We're doing it. Right. Into the kitchen. So. I don't know what kitchen counter we're going to use. I really don't. I think we need to go for something like this. Um, kind of shaker style. Um, but I'm unsure on where we're going to place things. I think the... Oven kind of needs to go in the middle there. So this is going to be quite difficult. <laughs> right, let's get the oven in. This one here in pillar box red. That is happening. Happening. <sighs> happening. <laughs> um, but it's just trying to get a nice kitchen counter to go with it. I mean, I could just do black and white counters and bring in the colours with the appliances. You know? 
Oh, I think I'm going to do that, my loves. I think I am. I'm not going to fit another one in there, but I'm wondering if I could squeeze a cheeky corner in there, sweetie. Oh, you bet your knickers we can. Oh, I'm for that. Well, there we go. <laughs> that didn't take too long. Is this jukebox too big for in here? It looks too big. It's the wrong colour for a start. Um, I want a pop of red, my loves, to be honest. I think that one probably be the best one. Maybe I could size it down. Maybe I could, like, I can't put it like, oh shit, I've still got this to use in here as well. Definitely need to get this somewhere. Maybe that can be the extractor fan. <laughs> Shush. Don't want to hear it. Or maybe that could just go there. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe, should we size this down? Let me just see what this, would this look stupid to size down in here? It does. It does look stupid. I'm just going to keep it at that size. It may be big and beefy in here, but we're building for Pam, aren't we? I'm going to shuffle it there, though, so I can fit a bin next to it. Um, And I won't do any important thing, like, here, really. So maybe I can... Oh, I kind of need to put the sink there, though. So they should be able to get to that. They should be able to. We're going to put it in anyway. And if they can't, they're fussy bastards. They really are. <sighs> Um, do we go for black kitchen? No, we need a hint more silver in here now. That's too silver. That's too gr greeny gray. That's better. So that there, and then a pop of color with the, <clears throat> the fridge as well. Um, this one here would probably be the best. Does it come in a red? Oh, it does. Oh, there we go. Is that going to fit there a dream? Oh, that looks smashing. Oh, I love it. Love it. Now, cupboards. I really detest the cupboards that go with this one. I mean, they don't go with it at all. But I think we're going to use them. We're going to try to use them anyway. Because we've got to remember this is kind of... Off. Maybe we could just do little ones all the way along. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do an extractor there. And then we'll leave that one like that above there. Um, so we're going to do an extractor fan above this. Kind of needs to be a, a ceiling one, I feel. I do, I feel it. Is that weird? They're so weird. They're so weird colours. One second, I need to unlock my cheats. Things have changed. What I've done instead, I've put a little breakfast bar moment here. That jukebox was just too big for in here. It really was. And it was just... It was just not fitting the vibe, to be honest with you. Do I need to, like, lower that down? No, I kind of prefer it where it is. Um, so what I did is extended the bar. I extended the bar, made the bar bigger. And I've put the jukebox in the bar. Kind of makes sense being out there as well. And it's protected against the weather because it's, yes, underneath shelter. <laughs> Sorry. I have gas. <laughs> oh, God. TMI. TMI agent, and I'm thinking about maybe using the same lights in here as well. Oh, they might be a bit too low hanging in here. Maybe I could use those other spotlight ones. Where are they? These ones. Maybe I could use these instead. I hate the lights on these, but all the light that you get from these, the light, you don't get any light from these. So what I'm going to do is pop three in. Let's get the grid on. Um... One there, one there, and one there. And then go under with the subtle saucer light. The subtle saucer light. Is that going to be too bright? Oh, Christ, I didn't even put that on there. Is that too bright? Oh, no, it's not. It's fine. I thought that was going to be way too bright then. Let me see with those lights. Yeah, no, that looks cool. Yeah, I do enjoy that. Yes. Yes, we'll do that then. Okay, cool. So we've got the majority of stuff here. What I did as well, I took this window away um, and I've put shelving up there. I might actually put the shelving into the corner. Um, like so. Stunning. Let's get some appliances out for them. So I definitely, they haven't got time for dishes. They've got a business to run. So I'm going to, can we just go into appliances? I hate looking for things. There we go. And oh my God, live edit, go away. And I'm going to... Put in a dishwasher. <laughs> I actually... Where are the bloody dishwashers? Let me find them because this is pissing me off. 
There we go. Dishwasher. Oh, God, I don't think they'd be able to get in there, actually. I've just thought. So maybe I'll put the dishwasher right next to the oven. Yeah, we'll do that. It's not realistic, but I don't care. It's happening. Um, yeah, we've done that. Okay, I want some more kitchen goodies up on the side. Um, oh, coffee machine. I would definitely see them being coffee drinkers. Maybe like a full barista machine in here would look good. Um, do we want to go for red for that as well? Maybe not. Maybe we'll just go for black for these appliances. Um, and it always has to... I hate that it's got to come with this. It annoys me because this is just too big. It's too big to be used decently. I think we'll use it in that silver colour, actually. Just matches in with the top of it. And that shelf behind it can go away now. And what I'll do instead is lower this one down to... Oh, no. We'll just keep it where it is, Aiden. Keep it where it is. And then we can find stuff to put on the shelves. <laughs> can we? Can we really? Can you... Why is that not going on the shelf? I thought those actually fit on shelves. Oh, whatever. Right, we're going to put you over there. <laughs> we're going to put you there. We'll just pretend that those are coffee. They are coffee even. Piss off. Right, I'm going to have to lift this up. And it's going to float because it's an asshole. Oh, no, that's fine. I'll let you off. I'll leave you there for the minute, actually. Just while I put bits and bobs up. Oh, a bread bin. I'll keep this side to be cluttered on and then one side free for them to cook on. Oh, we'll keep it in a white as well. I think that looks nice. Yes. Yes. Um, and maybe some like those chili pots. Let me find them. Yeah, cool. We've done it. I, what I did, I used, I love this little object that came with Snowy Escape, the like hand washy or whatever it could be, shampoo, conditioner, could be anything. Um, Love it. Put that up there as well. A little knife block. Um, Obviously did the jars of pickles and whatnot. And I used this clock as well. I thought this clock kind of popped in here nicely. And I'm kind of for it. Do you know what's really annoying me? Seeing that glitch. So I'm going to size these down until you can't see them. Stunning. <laughs> going to size them down. Lovely. Oh, stunning. Yeah, that's much better. You can't see them glitching now when you're playing. Perfect. But yeah, the kitchen is done. I like how the kitchen looks. I think it suits the vibe. The only thing I'm not that keen on are the chairs, but I'm going to keep them anyway. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to furnish the bathroom and here off of camera. And then we're going to move upstairs and go into the master bedroom and start doing the master room. So I've managed to furnish the hallway, the entrance hall. Um, I've also done the bathroom downstairs as well, just a very plain bathroom. I've furnished the kind of guest bedroom as well. We've done it in this kind of blue tone moment. I'll do a proper tour um, kind of with this camera after we've finished doing the master suite. So the master bedroom is going to go here. It's quite a substantial size. I've gone for this kind of fun pop of yellow with the green wallpaper. Um, I like it. I think it's quite cute. I think it's cute. Those curtains are far too high. I'm glad I looked at that because that is making me fuming. Why are you not going down there? There we go. Just just go there. Are you even... Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. This is going to be Sharon's... Sharon and Pam's room. So, what bed do we want to use in here? Oh. Can we get, like, a... I really don't like this bed. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> but we're not building for us. We're building for... Par Paran and Sham. I was going to call them then. Paran and Sham. Okay. We're going to go for that. Um, No, I can't use that bed. I do not like it. Oh, God. Was I running out of money? Then I was. We've got 15,000 simoleons left. Um, So maybe a full poster. What would this look like in here? What would you look like, John? Oh, I like the red. Can I pop a bit of red in here? I mean, that's too much yellow. If I did that, that would be too much yellow in here. I liked that red, though. Let's go back. Oh, I think we're going to do that, darlings. I think we're going to pop a bit of red in here. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do it. Why not? They love it. They're absolutely for it. Is Paran and Sham. Um, questionable. Can we use you in here? Mm. Don't think we're going to get a matching wood tone, really. I mean, that's not too bad. 
but I think we need to go a little bit more simple with it. Maybe using the new, maybe using the new one, even though again, uh, not very matching wood terms. But yeah, I think I'm going to use these new ones. Simple, quite small as well, which I like. Um, And this is their kind of sanctuary and I'm for that. Yeah, I like them with it. Okay, trying to find something to go on top of these though. Annoyingly, these slots on these here are just non-existent. So most of the lamps don't actually fit on there. <laughs> it's just... Oh, God. When will they learn, my loves? When will they learn? This is the lamp I want to use in here. And I'm hoping... That's going to be too high. Damn. What does that look like? Oh, no, that looks fine. That looks fine. We're just going to lift it up with a 9k. Do it that way. Why not, you know? Yeah, no, I like those lamps with it. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's a bright pop of red, though, isn't it? <laughs> this is a very um, questionable coloured room, but, you know, we can't judge them. We cannot judge them, my loves. Anyway, wardrobe-wise, should we get in the new wardrobe in here? Oh, Oh, I think we might. I think we bloody might do. Let's put the new wardrobe in here. I was going to do like a little office space over in this corner, but I'm kind of running out of room. Um, So maybe I'll do that one there. Um, We could put a little desk in the corner here. We'll put a desk over in that corner. I think like a, maybe a couple of chairs in this corner. I'm wondering if we could pull a bit more red in now because that red's really popping out to me. So I need to just hit it with another bit of red. Slap it with a bit of red. This isn't going to be the right red. It needs to be quite bright. Um, That's not the right style. Um, Let me find... Oh, could we use you in here? I've only got 6,000 simoleons left. That is the right red completely. Yeah, I'm going to use these. <laughs> I'm going to use a couple of these over in the corner. Oh, no, I don't like it. I don't like having the chairs there. I need to figure out what I'm doing in this corner. So I've done that. I think that looks a little bit better. This red's just set in that red a little bit better. It's not the correct red, but I don't really mind. And I popped the red over as well in this corner with a plant. And I've just put a chair in the corner. Just think it looks nice. In a different colour green as well, but you know... We cannot match everything in all the time because Sims, and that's that's it. So I think to finish off, what I'm going to do is put a nice desk in this corner. Um, I'd probably see more along the lines of this kind of desk over here. Like something just a bit more... Oh, well maybe I could... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Just pretend I never did that. So maybe I could just... To use one of these. I wanted like a plain desk. So maybe I could just use that one or this one. No, we'll go for the new desk. We'll go for that new one. I think that sets in nicely. Um, We're going to do an actual office chair in here as well. And I could pop a bit of red over in the corner with that as chair. Well, oh, can I do that? Can I do that? Um, No, no, you cannot. Maybe a, maybe a bit of green. Um, <laughs> um, maybe yellow. I'm just going to go for yellow. Much easier. And it's done. And I think what I'm going to do is shuffle, shuffle, shuffle the desk in over to this area here. And I'm going to try and fit a bookcase in that side as well. Um, so computer, we need to remember money. Um, so it needs to be just a generic looking PC, really. How much are you? 1,400. Lovely got 3,000 simoleons left. Um, so I'm going to get a lovely little spotlighty lamp. Uh, doesn't really matter what colour, but anything that's not too awful. We'll just go for that one. There we go. Gorgeous. And then we'll get a bookcase in this corner. Uh, I'm going to need to move this, I think. What can we put bookcase-wise here? I mean, can we do that in here? No, I want it to look like a bookcase. I know that this just reminds me of shelving, you know. So I'm going to use this one. It's the base game one. It's got a hint of red on it as well. I think that would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad there. I don't mind that at all. Cool. 
Okay. Yeah, no, this is fine. I think maybe I need a mirror. I'm going to put a mirror on this side. So we'll finish off with a mirror. And I think the wall leaning, the leaning wall one would be perfect in this room, in that swatch as well. Oh, gorgeous. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're, we're done. We're done with this build. Let's give us a little tour, shall we, before we go. So here's the outside. A new build, a new prefab that's been popped up after this house sadly flew away. Oh, those windows are wonky because I moved a mop in the kitchen, so I'm going to have to move you up as well. Never mind, that won't um, matter too much in the hallway anyway. So, out into the back garden. So the back garden's got a lovely little bar moment going on there. Stunning. Um, little fire pit. Little, uh, where's that tree gone? Oh, 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 good job I caught that. Can I re-put a tree here? Yeah, and it's not going to block their view too much either because it you can see right out through the front okay did i put any landscaping under that i did so let's just put a little bit of that dry grass just a little smidgen just underneath of the tree just so it doesn't look too like weird oh god it looks weird <laughs> maybe a couple of stones as well then just to really sit it in there i don't know why we have to do, put stones and grass by trees in the sims but i just have to I just have to. I don't walk around looking at trees go, that one hasn't got a stone near it. All grass. Looks weird. Little decking area. Very cute. I think this is much more them here. Into the kitchen. Nice diners. Nice diner vibe in here with a pop of red. Love it. Into the dining area as well. So it's got a nice, nice vibe going on in here. I do like the living room and the dining room. They're my, probably my favourite rooms. Um, stunning. Got everything you would need. And then obviously up the stairs, we're going to go, oh God, uh, into the mass. No, is that not, what the hell? Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. That spun me right out. We're in the mass, we're, we're in the guest suite. We're in the guest bedroom. <laughs> I thought this was the hallway and then it was going into another hallway. That spun me right out. So yeah, um, nice guest suite. The guest suite's got its own ensuite as well, which is very luxurious with like a wet room, built-in shower, toilet, stunning. Out into the hallway. <laughs> Bathroom goes off in here. Um, so it's got a bath, shower and toilet combo in there. Going to change the colour of the blinds, I think, in there to a grey. Um... And into the master bedroom with an interesting set of colours. But I like it. I like it. I can feel the vibes. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Before we leave, what I'm going to do is just bash that floating that floating um, thing out. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was playing on my mind because I'm not going to get a chance to change it. But yeah, this is done. This lot is done. The corner cove is complete. There we go, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your faces. Leave me some lovely comments um, and I will get to answering them. And yeah, that's it. I'll get this up on the gallery. Just remember to put move up, mob, move objects on when you do place any of my builds. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a rather fun video. I think you're going to like this one. So yes, that's it. And goodbye.